Now it's funny how the game says it's saving, even though I'm coming back for a separate recording session after having already had it saved here. Why? And again, you have to give credit to the facial animators for Smoke's eyes, because it's really good. And you see a lot more of that in this chapter. But like... So Jade's pissy at Kitana for getting pissy at Shao Kahn for getting pissy at her. You are a princess. It's. He expects more from you than I know what he expects. It's like bloody hell. Everyone's just a pissy little we'll twat in this later. game. When you are in more of a mind to listen. But I admit, Kitana's story in this game is probably better than it ever has been. But there's still some major issues with the way Shao Kahn acts around her, princess and I'll get to that later. I request an audio. Earth realmers, you dare approach me. Hey, listen, honey. We don't want to fight, but we will if we must. You will learn respect. And this is the point where it becomes Round clear that Smoke fight. and Johnny Cage are the biggest <laughs> fucking jobbers going. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously going to lose this match because I already tried this uh, last time and failed, so I stopped recording for a bit. But the thing is, it's like Johnny Cage and Smoke. Like, they both just lose to Kitana together. See, and this is how far the two have fallen, especially Johnny. It's like, every time Johnny has a fight, he gets progressively worse. Which is something I'm definitely going to have to highlight in this version of the review, because something I didn't notice how bad it was the first time through. Fucking hell. Damn it, I was hoping- I wanted to get smoke, but it'll do. Now look at this, like, how is he not dead? You- you, you couldn't- you could not survive that. I mean, I don't know, maybe if he- if he got hit in a certain spot. I don't know, I think like the back of your brain is what is it really super important. Trying to lose all my teeth. And I'm done. Motherfucker. Alright, let's see what moves are. I do like that he can just press a button to go straight to the uh to the, the uh super moves. It's weird how it's called it says super move, but I it still says special attacks, and super moves is usually like the stuff what you'd consider the big moves, like the x-ray moves and that. Two, well, let's see what I've got here. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. I like that move. It reminds me of a move that Katana had in Deadly Alliance, actually. This is really cool kick move. Yeah, but how, how do you do that at, at weird box, flying weird square boost, that's it. There we go. I should probably stop popping around and just get over with. I have to wonder if Karen Strassman uh, did, that, did that voice, that little voice clip, because probably not. Damn it, what's the, there you go, block. I didn't know what the block button was. It's been a, it's been a few days since I played the game, and most fighting games don't have block buttons. And why does Smoke have invisibility? He is not the reptile. What? Oh. Round one. Fight. I think if I, if, I, if I fail once on it on, on these fights, where it's like me against two people, I might have to just skip the second ver the second uh, viewing of it because. They go on way too long because I realised while editing that, that just the average fight can, can can take like five minutes to get through. It's like a good few minutes, and then you know if, if it's like goes to three rounds in here, it's like it's I'm against two people. You can't you can't break it now, can you? You've got no energy. Boom, motherfucker! And oof. Yeah, see, it's a shame the characters only have one X-ray move. They really should have more. Boom! Yeah, I'm gonna have to just cheese it out because this is because it's too tough. Johnny Cage is too tough. I mean, yeah, I, I know I said he's a complete jobber, but here's the thing: one, I'm not very good at this game, and two. 
There's two of them. But, you know, obviously, no matter how tough they are, they still lose. So they are they are still jobbers. Like, I guess Johnny Cage and Smoke are like the, the uh, hero equivalent of like Reptile, Baraka and Kano. Because all they do is fucking lose. Like, and granted, all the all the villains who don't get to be played as and uh, do is lose. Like you never see, uh, say, Shang Tsung win a fight because you don't play as him. So he just he, he loses. But I think I think part of it is the fact that those characters don't get don't get fought as much because I'm pretty sure Reptile Barack and Kano fought more than anyone else, aside from aside from possibly Johnny Cage. So that they just job to everyone. I love that term, jobber. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a wrestling term for um, for someone who basically, basically just loses every match they have, basically for the purpose of making someone else look good. And that's basically what it is. So that, that's so it, it's so it's, it's still applicable even even when it's not uh, talking about wrestling or stuff that's necessarily fixed. Yeah, well, I suppose it does still. I suppose it does have to still be fixed. Shao Kahn wants death to follow combat. Because these matches are like perhaps obviously fiction and set by others. Or the writers. He sensed, as I do, that there is conflict within you. <laughs> what? Thanks. That's random. Ow! You couldn't have seen that in one of your hot flashes. Okay, then just brought Something up a, a, a trophy. Not right after the match. That you should be different. You are much more like Sindel than Shao Kahn. So how how am I halfway through then? But she is dead. My I, mother is dead. Yes. I, Why do you? You need answers, Katana. I'm past. I can help you find them if you will trust in me. Go to Shang. Yeah, I'm past the halfway pits. mark. Much will be revealed there. The flesh pits, but mm, I'm forbidden maybe. to. Yes, you are. And why is that? I know it's complex. I'll explain in a I minute. I don't know. Tell me. You must discover your true path alone. It's just one of the weird things is that, like, does Raiden know this stuff because of the vision he just had? Because he sends Kitana to the flesh pits. And I'm like, why is he sending her to the fl Like, did he know about the flesh pits before? And, I mean, if he didn't, then how did Kitana find out about the flesh pits? In the original timeline. Show yourself, Jade. I know you're following me. Again. It is kind of funny to have following have Jade still. be here when her first appearance in MK was in the background of this stage in MK2. And why is that? I do not question the Emperor's commands. Katana, please, turn back. I cannot. This path might lead me to the truth. I'm sorry, Jade. Everyone wonder whose idea it was for Kitana, to, for Kitana to dress like this. I mean, Jade dresses Round similarly, so one fight. assumes then that this is possibly like, what Shao Kahn expects his um, female assassins to wear. And if that's the case, I'm just I'm just wondering. Then, I mean, I know Khan isn't really Kitana's uh, father, but did no one else find it find it kind of creepy? No one was like, this guy's making his daughters wear this stuff. But then again. I, I kind of get the impression that people in Art World just go with what Shao Kahn says all the time, like forever, and that they're all and they're all either really into it or they're just pretending so they don't get fucking murdered. Kitana. And it's kind of funny to think about that Katana just stabbed her best friend through the face. And if, if you ever played MK Shaolin Monks, you'll know that when Liu Kang slash Kung Lao does that to Jade with Melina's side, Katana gets really pissed off about it. And that's the thing, it's like, certain elements of Shaolin Monks are taken into canon in this game, like uh, the, the stuff with Kung Lao and Barak on the island, but it's just weird. Um, there's nothing wrong with Katana's hair then. But yeah, it's just weird when you consider the fact that some, that only those few details were taken into account, but not all of them, like in Shaolin Monks, Katana was under mind control, not just under a misconception. You know, she wasn't just tricked, she was un she'd be being explicitly controlled, and the structure of the tournament was completely different in Shaolin Monks, but that stuff's not taken into canon. I tried to warn you. It's weird. Jade is incapacitated. I, do. I feel like the quality of the visuals goes down in the cutscenes. I mean, I, I guess that might be partly why you can't 
skip the cutscenes. That is, the mask in a loading time. I mean, that's why it's saying saving now. Like maybe the uh, it's ready to skip. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you do have to sit through all the cutscenes every time. So yeah, this is Shang Tsung's lab. I did mention the flesh pits before in uh, Meat Bio and Armageddon. I'm not sure if they ever was it mentioned for Melina's story or not before. But the idea is the flesh pits. You're not going to get the impression that, oh, it's like an, a literal pit with flesh all around it. Where Shang Tsung uses magic to like fuse fleshy globules together. But that's not the case. See, this is obviously supposed to, supposed to be similar to the scene in uh, uh, Alien Resurrection, where, Rip, where Ripley finds a room with all the other Ripley clones and burns them all. It's, it's clearly intended to be like that. It's, it looks like it's funny because we're supposed to look at Melina and say, oh, she looks just like Katana. She doesn't know. <gasps> Like even discounting, Sister. even discounting the Tarkat and mouth and eyes, like you can't really tell much much similarities because Katana's nose is so covered, so and that's one of the few parts you'd so be able to sad. look at and say, yeah, it looks like Katana. Come, let us be a family. I think Karen Strassman does a good job as, in both roles, but you are a monstrosity. mainly as Katana because no, well, Katana. Right. Is more. It, it, I've never been that, been that interested in Katana or her story, honestly. But she's way more interested in the character than Melina in this. And I don't get why they felt the need to make Melina this childish thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It makes sense for this scene because she's just recently been created. But I feel. But I, I, I imagine. I, I imagine she'll have changed by MKX. I imagine in MKX, which I'm not actually played through yet. I imagine in that she's probably more mature, like she used to be. But it's just weird that she's just not mature in this. But I do have to question the uh, the logic here, like... I'm sure Melina was already around in the original MK2 comic before this point. I feel like this scene might have made more sense if it was that... Melina was maybe guarding the flesh pits. And that Katana just found the other experiments. And then they could have even had something like... Had a uh, Scarlet or Meat be, uh, be here. And I feel like that would have made a lot more sense. You know, instead of just having Melina be just created now. And I feel like that, could have, that would have been a much more interesting story. Instead of just being, oh, Katana finds Melina and knows she... And it's like, oh, she's a clone of me or something. It's that all her life she's believed that Melina was actually... Um, Katana. No, she believes that Melina was actually her twin all along. That she found that she's not. And she feels just horribly betrayed. Wine. Do you think my father will stand for this? These abominations you have created here? I, am merely I don't know. That, you while the facial animation is spot on, her but arm movement then was, a, especially the hands, was a bit off. Is it, is it really that pointed? You don't, it's not like he even he strokes it really. Like he used to when he was an old man, but young Shang Tsung, not really. I do actually quite like Tana's new, uh, design in this game, but it's just one of those where it's like, I just don't get why it shows so much skin. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those people like, oh my god, a sexy woman, that is so sexist. Can you know, you know, fuck those people, but it just seems kind of weird and random that's, that all the women in MK are like this. And then it comes, kind of comes weird that, Round two. Fight. despite the way that, the, that this being the way the majority of the women in Mortal Kombat dress primarily, I, that's not necessarily um, a central part of the franchise identity. Like, people don't really point that out about Mortal Kombat all that often. When it comes to the sex appeal, it's usually um, dead or alive, and to a lesser extent, Soul Calibur. Okay, I don't know how I did that one, but yeah. Sorry if this looks this, this, uh, is boring, but I don't, I don't want this, this episode to take too long. I'm also going to try not to complain too much about... Um, I'm going to try to not complain too much about um, all the stuff with Shao Kahn and Katana in this next scene. Because, you know, I'm, I'm going to. If you're watching this, you're probably going to watch the review. You will stand 
Because I imagine the only people who are going to watch is the people who've seen the original cheese. review. And will want to watch the newer version. So I'll save, I'll save it mostly for that. But this scene just fucking bugs me. I would not disturb you, just, just watch this. Not of utmost importance. I felt you should know what Shang Tsung has so, been doing. So, as far as Katana knows, Khan doesn't know anything about this. created horrid replicas of me, crossbred with Tarkatan blood. One was alive and attacked me. Now, what should Khan do here? Well done, sorcerer. Like, what kind of a fucking retard is this guy? I mean, how did he? How, could you? how is he this, this vast emperor, this emperor. emperor of this vast empire that like he's been building over millennia? It's like, like. Only I had not allowed Sindel to convince me of your worth. But now it's like this guy is so fucking thick. Was right. you have lied to me, my Yo, Katana, life. yeah, look, right, the truth is, I'm not tell. really your dad. I, I fucking exactly. shanked him. And, like, I wish you had not, had not lived. I wish I'd killed you before. It's like, don't tell her that. Of course she's going to betray you. And but if she's gonna betray you, so is her best friend Jade, who you can see here. Like Shao Khan is a complete retard. Like what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs>